Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have an unboxing and review and just wanted to do a story time with you guys on my experience with the Louis Vuitton repair. So if you guys saw my post from last week on my community post, you guys saw that I posted a picture of a bag and told you that I um, just wanted to talk about uh, Louis Vuitton repairs. So here is the bag. And I just kind of want to tell you guys my experience, how this worked out for me, and see if this is something um, for you guys to do if you guys are interested, if you guys are thinking about doing a repair. So first I want to start off from the beginning. Um, so I did get this bag. Um, I got it as a wedding gift and I used it for my wedding. Um, and it's a used bag. Um, and I wanted to do the repair um, because I wanted to preserve um, the bag. It's a vintage bag. It's no longer in production. Really hard to find, actually. So I wanted to make sure that um, when that if the bag, you know, um, continues to be my possession or if I decide to pass it down, uh, that it is in excellent condition. So I went to Louis Vuitton back in July of 2022 so now we are in 2023 <laughs> so i got this uh i sent over this bag to louis vuitton in july of 2022 the ending of july and i told them that hey this was a gift i have no proof of purchase no nothing but i do want to do a repair and i'm obviously willing to pay for the repair for however much it is um so they you know accepted the bag and they did give me um, this uh, paper basically saying how the bag came in. It does state that the bag was gifted um, and it does say um, some of the wear and tear of the bags. This says the canvas is very well taken care of and there are no signs of wear and tear or visible cracking. Um, and they also mentioned in the description that I left my own stuffing. So I did bring this bag in and I brought it with the tissue paper that I had it um, stuffed in because I was, you know, storing the bag in my closet. So when I brought it in, I brought it how I had it. And when I brought it in to Louis Vuitton, the sales associate asked me if I wanted to put my, uh, keep the stuffing in here. So that way when it ships out, um, there won't be any issues um, with shipping the bag out. Um, and it'd be lumpy or flat or whatever. And I said, okay, perfect. If I could keep my stuffing in there, great. So she did note that um, a client has left their own stuffing inside the bag. So the bag stays in good condition. Um, and then she did give me a quote of a price. And the price quote was $870 for the repairs. And I'll go into what happened in this bag. Um, and I was aware of the quote and she did give me a time frame. So this was in July of 2022. She did tell me that it might be ready for pickup in January of 2023. I'm in no rush to get this bag repaired. So to me, yeah, I don't really want to wait, but if it's going to be something that I will love at the end, okay, fine. So she did put down here. Client is aware of price and time frame, which I did understand. So, um, with all that said and done, I went ahead and filled out some paperwork, signed some stuff, and she took the bag away um, without the dust bag. So, I did have the original dust bag, uh, but she told me, no, it's fine. You could just leave the bag here. So, I did not leave it with the dust bag. So, I took the dust bag home and just left the bag there, and that was it. Um, I did constantly check my Louis Vuitton online account to make sure that it was processed. Um, and it took about two weeks, two to three weeks for it to say that it was shipped out to their re repair location. So I believe that's somewhat fast because I've heard some horror stories of people waiting, 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 waiting for the repair and it for months and it was never even shipped out. <laughs> so I guess I got lucky um, that it was shipped out to Paris or 
wherever for the repair within two weeks of me uh, leaving the bag, dropping the bag off at the store, um, which was fine. So I basically just waited and waited and waited um, and waited, <laughs> and it gave me the estimate time eventually that it would be ready for pickup in January. I got an actual uh, update on my account saying it would be ready for pickup around January, and this, um, and that was okay with me. Um, and then January came along, and it kept kept saying, waiting for repair, waiting for repair. So I never called the Louis Vuitton store. I never called customer service just because I thought, well, it's in my the, the system. It's in my account saying that it shipped off. There was no known issues to my knowledge that they may have had. So maybe it's just taking a long time to do the repair, which I believe just ended up being the case because January came along. I got nothing. February came along. I got nothing. March came along and I got a text message at random saying that your bag is ready for pickup. And my account updated overnight saying it was at the store. <laughs> so that was fine with me. So I went ahead and picked it up over the weekend. Um, and this is how it came in. They did give me a Louis Vuitton bag. They did not give me a box, but they did give me this dust bag um, that is a drawstring dust bag, um, which is nice because I don't, I think I only have one drawstring dust bag. So here it is. And the bag in question is the vintage Louis Vuitton Papillon 26. So this bag, first of all, when I saw it, you know, at the store, when I was picking it up after the repair, I thought, what a beautiful repair. So when I dropped off the bag, I told the sales associate, I want all the leather replaced. The leather on this bag are the straps, which there is hardware connecting it to Vachetta under the bag and around there too. There is Vachetta piping on both sides and then you do get the opposite strap as well for Vachetta. So I told her I wanted all the Vachetta replaced and she did mention that the pull tab was um, tarnished and I didn't want it to get it replaced just because it was an extra cost but she said she would go ahead and add it uh, free of charge so I clarified would that be the pull tab and the thing that slides and she said yes so the thing that slides is called the glider and the pull tab so I got the glider and the pull tab replaced the zipper itself is the original zipper so it is a little bit hard to open but that's how the bag was it was not a, a fault of Louis Vuitton that was just how the bag was when I got it that's how it was when I dropped it off um, so I didn't want to replace the whole zipper um, just because I did want to have some of the original aspects of the bag besides of the, the canvas um, plus I thought okay I could just use some wax paper to try to get it to be a little bit more um, pliable which I haven't done it um, in a while so I'll have to do it again but besides that everything came out perfect um, this is minus the bubble paper but this was the original stuffing that I had in the bag and they shipped it back to me with the original stuffing so there was no issues there um, which I was very happy with and I believe they did clean the inside of the bag. It's an all leather bag. Um, and when I smelled it, it smelled like a brand new Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> it did not have, I mean, when I dropped it off, it didn't have any odor, but it just didn't have that brand new smell. But when I picked it up, it had a brand new Louis Vuitton smell, the whole thing. So I think they did clean the inside of the bag. Um, I'm not too sure with what, but that's just kind of what it smelled like. Um, so there's the zipper pull. But yeah, all in all, I am very happy with 
um, the repair. Um, I do want to make a note though. Um, I believe it was January or February. I did hear around, you know, the luxury community that Louis Vuitton was having an increase in repairs, which, um, to my experience, for my experience, it was true. So like I said earlier, they quoted me $870 um, to do the repair and that's without tax. So they don't do, at least where I'm from, they don't have a tax for repair or service fee. So it's supposed to be $870 flat. I went to the store, the sales associate, which is a different person, did tell me that um, the price increase went up for the repairs and it was supposed to be $930. But she said since they quoted me $870 that she will go ahead and honor that price for me. I said, great, thank you. I had no issues there. Um, so just make sure if you do have a repair, make sure you do get a proof of um, you dropping off the bag and you... Um, uh, giving the bag, um, having the description of how you gave the bag. So if your bag, you know, had um, the stuffing like, like mine did, make sure they have it in there that it came with the stuffing. If they, if they gave you, um, if you give the bag with, the, with detachable straps, let's say, or the dust bag, make sure you have the associates uh, put down on the note that, you gave the bag with, uh, you dropped off the bag with the straps and the dust bag. Um, or let's say your bag had a stain that is not part of the repair. Make sure you have it noted on there that there is a stain and where the stain is located. Make sure you take pictures of everything. Um, just because you don't want to have any horror stories of an item coming back the way it was not dropped off. The way you dropped it off. But besides that, everything turned out pretty nicely. Um, and there are no issues. The glazing is brand new. The Vachetta obviously is brand new. Um, so I am very, very, very pleased, very happy with the bag. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much my experience with the Louis Vuitton repair. Um, I've never done a repair that included um, Vachetta. I do have a few other repairs and I could do a whole separate story on that um, if you guys want. Um, but if you, have any, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, put them down below. I could answer your questions um, about anything repair related or anything else you guys may have. But definitely let me know down in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And until next time, bye.